Welcome to the steps to simple titration brought to you by All American Biodiesel. What you'll need for titration testing is 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol, your sample of waste vegetable oil to be tested, your supply of lye water, which is one gram of lye to one liter of distilled water stored in an airtight container. You also need a supply of phenolphthalein, which is your pH indication solution, and a testing container. First, we'll dispense 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol into the testing container. Next, we'll add three drops of phenolphthalein. One, two, three. Next, we're going to add lye water in one drop increments to cancel out any acids that are in the alcohol. One, Two, three, four, and there's five. This is the color we're looking for, the hot pink color. Next, we'll distribute one milliliter of waste vegetable oil that's for testing. and swirl until all the waste vegetable oil is dissolved in the isopropyl alcohol solution. Notice the color change. Now, we take our lye water syringe and we put it on an even amount. Nine, eight, seven, six. Which number is arbitrary? It just needs to be on one that you can start your calculations from. Here we've chosen nine. Each small dash on the syringe is worth 0.2 milliliters on your titration testing chart. So now in 0.2 milliliter increments, you'll add until you get that color back for 30 seconds. 0.2, 0 0.4, 0.6, Notice some color change, but it doesn't stay for 30 seconds. 0.8. And that's the color we're looking for. And once we verify that it stays that color for 30 seconds, we can cross-reference our chart. 0.8 on the titration results. NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide, 651 grams for a 40-gallon batch. And that's the easy steps to simple titration.